What's going on today, guys? We got a cool recipe for you. It is a prosciutto goat cheese tart. So it's really simple to make, packs a ton of flavor, and this is a good one to bring to like a party for an appetizer, it'll impress your friends. What we're gonna do, this is optional, it makes the recipe a lot more complex, so you can skip this, you can not do any veggies in this. Spinach, we're gonna wilt it down a little bit and add this to the tart, it makes it look better. It does make the recipe a little bit more complex. To start, we're gonna wilt down the spinach, and to do that, we're just gonna use a tablespoon of butter and about a cup of spinach, just like one big handful. and just let that cook down for a couple minutes. To the spinach mixture, we're gonna add two cloves of minced garlic. We're gonna use this pre-minced kind, just to get some flavor going. And just a quarter teaspoon of red pepper flakes for a little heat. If you don't have red pepper flakes, you could use black pepper instead. And get that nice and wilted down. Okay, next we have a muffin tin. And what we have here is some prosciutto. So prosciutto, it's like an Italian ham, it's aged and it's really thin and like smoky flavored, kind of salty flavored. It's actually quite expensive. Um, if you want a cheaper option, you could do salami, you could do pepperoni, but this is really gonna take it to the next level. And what we're gonna do here is just kind of fold this together to make like a perimeter around the muffin tin here with the prosciutto, make it like into a cup. There's some egg in the mixture, so like you don't have to make it perfect. It'll all bake and be fine anyway, but that looks pretty good. Okay, so we have the prosciutto formed into these muffin cups here. We're gonna set that aside. Now we're gonna make the filling. To start the filling, we're gonna use two eggs as the base. Just gonna crack them into a large mixing bowl here and just quickly beat those together. Okay, now we're gonna add the cheeses, a plethora of cheeses. We got cream cheese here, one full block, eight ounces, and this is gonna be best if you have it at room temperature. Then we're gonna need four ounces of goat cheese. Now this is what's gonna give it a lot of the flavor, some tanginess. If you can't find goat cheese, you could probably use like blue cheese could work kind of decently or like feta cheese, something like that. You're gonna want four ounces of goat cheese and a quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. And then we're gonna add some seasonings. You can do whatever you like for this. We're gonna do about a teaspoon of rosemary, dried rosemary. Some oregano would be good too. Maybe just like some parsley, a classic Italian seasoning blend. We're gonna do a little salt. About a half teaspoon because the prosciutto is salty, the cheeses are pretty salty, so you don't need to go too nuts with the salt. Then we're gonna do some cracked pepper. Okay, so I got my hand mixer here. I'm gonna mix that together. This will be a lot easier if all your ingredients are room temperature. Okay, that looks good. And then all that's left to do is add in our greens, which honestly, it's not that much greens, very minimal. And just fold that in. So I'm just gonna fill these up. That might be too much. And then I'm just gonna pat these down a little bit. So they're looking good. Okay, so here I have these roasted sweet red peppers, which I actually haven't used that much. I think all you wanna look for is the ingredients. These are just peppers, water, salt. So the recipe calls for chopped red peppers. I think I'm actually just gonna grab these out with my hand and put a big, big one on top of each, or like a big piece, maybe a few, few pieces. You know, kitchen's your playground, guys. You can do whatever you want. Okay, guys, there they are. There's all six of them. We're gonna put this in the oven at 350 for 20 to 25 minutes. You can check on them. You can just give them a little wiggle test to make sure they're set. And as soon as you see that they are, they're good to come out. Check these out, guys. Look at that. I kind of like how it looks with the big chunks of red pepper. But yeah, you can kind of feel like they're still a little soft, which is what you want. You don't want to just cook them to death. Let them cool for 10 to 20 minutes before you dig into them. But if you know this show, we don't do that. Got to dig into these immediately. Such a nice consistency. It's so soft. It's like I've never had them, but it feels like those Starbucks sous vide egg bites. Like just look at how soft that is. Look at that. It's like Jigglypuff. It's perfect. It's like Jigglypuff. Do you guys know what Jigglypuff evolves into? Comment below. Man, Pokemon, it came out when I was in, I think, second grade. Just revolutionary. And like Pokemon Snap was hard. I could only get to Bulbasaur. I would take so many good pictures of Bulbasaur. And then I never I played Pokemon Snap. So slice right into that. Soft. Look at that. Look at the middle of that. Here we go. Strong flavors. You get the saltiness of the prosciutto, 
contrasting with the goat cheese, like the tanginess, that's the big battle going on in your mouth. Complimentary rolls, you got the red pepper, you got the spinach, it's all really good. You get the garlic in there for sure. Great appetizer. It could be like a side dish for dinner. There's a lot of different preparations. I think this would also be really good for meal prep. All of these store really well in the fridge and they're even better like day two, day three, day four. Link to how to make this exact recipe is in the description of this video. We got a food blog, ketoconnect.net. Check out the food blog. We got a bunch of different recipes there. Thanks for watching guys. Comment below with suggestions for future recipes you want us to do. Oh,